Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a couple of red Bordeaux here, uh, both from uh, the Dort company, and one is their uh, uh, Bordeaux Superior, one is a saint Emilion. One is 2014, one is four years older, 2010, uh, which is a better vintage than 2014. Uh, so um, I'm expecting uh, something to be there and the next one to be there. But it's whether they are there and there or there and there. But anyway, I'll d dive into them and let's have a see. So the first one is Chateau Pellato or Reserve du Chateau, Bordeaux Superior. 2014 wasn't a bad vintage, but um, 2010 was better. So this smells very, uh, it's almost like a toffee edge to slightly baked uh, berry flavours. Yeah, the berry and black currant. Um, and uh, there is a uh, slight oak imprint. There is a, this oak giving a, just a little bit of um, a, a light toastiness. Not so much that it's, um, it's dominating the wine, but uh, priming a little structure for it. And it's almost a smoky character to the oak as well. It's juicy, it's sappy. Um, and uh, it has me going, uh, bring me some protein, bring me a large hunk of flesh, um, uh, or if I'm a vegetarian, bring me a slightly uh, baked portobello mushroom with garlic and parmesan in or something like that, with a, maybe a touch of chilli. Um, uh, but the, f the finish I'm left with is this, um, I was, I was say saying that, that, that smell on the slightly baked berries, the, the, there are some of that character uh, as, uh, here when you, when you taste it, but um, a little bit more plummy fruit as well. Finish is um, a touch dry, 2014, it's not a, a very generous, big fruity vintage, um, and uh, there'll be some people who'd want to keep that for a bit longer. I'd happily pour it out now. Uh, if you want it a little bit more mellow, just pour it out an hour earlier, shove it in a big jug, give it a chance, whoops, don't want to knock that one over, give it a chance to come out of its shell. But um, yeah, pretty decent wine, um, I, that's, that's what I expect of a... Uh, a decent Bordeaux Superior. Let's see whether this is a decent Saint Emilion. It's Ch Chateau Grand Barré La Marzelle Figiac. Just about fits on the label. Uh, Saint Emilion Grand Cru 2010. Uh, so let's give this one a whirl. So it's more developed, it's more rounded and plummy. It's got some of the uh, what I call truffly warmth. Uh, as if the, um, that slightly plum character that I was getting in the first one uh, has mellowed. It hasn't got that baked edge that I was seeing in the, um, in, in the, uh, the Pé de la Tour. And it feels like it's going to be a richer, rounder wine. It would have been a richer, rounder wine at the same stage in its development. But it doesn't feel like they've maybe had to do as much wine making in order to make it uh, forward and attractive. And it does smell forward and attractive. It's, uh, it's got this soft, generous, plummy character. Uh, doesn't f smell like there's going to be anything here that is majorly in need of uh, it, uh, it needing further time. But it smells like it's going to be quite, quite nice. And it is quite nice. Very nice. Not, it's not great, but it's, um, it's actually quite a lot fresher when I come to taste it than uh, I was expecting that from that. That slight plumminess I was getting when I was um, smelling it, I thought it was going to be a bit more mellow. But here it's still got quite a bit of firm tan in there. Not so much that uh, it's a crime to pull the cork now. It's 14% alcohol, and I do feel a little bit of that warmth of alcohol coming through on the finish. Um, but um, all in all, a nice, juicy, plummy, um, plummy claret. Um, both of these mostly mellow, and um, good adverts for Bordeaux Merlot. I uh, can't remember how much uh, they, they, they both are, but they're not, they're not silly prices. And, um, and that second one in particular hangs around in your mouth. Uh, so um, make sure it hangs around uh, in time for you to have it with some roast beef or something like that. I think that will go uh, rather splendidly. Um, and uh, if you want to keep it a little bit longer, by all means, well, the same with both of them. But uh, personally, I do, I'll, be, I'll be setting into them now, maybe over the next couple of years. But they're, they're pretty good wines. See you soon.